Hey, I'm Sean Fitzgerald, filling in for Tony Upoff to bring you this week's Thomas Index Report. In the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey, it's no surprise we're seeing huge increases in the sourcing of products and services related to recovering from this disaster. While the trends I'll talk about today are specific to the Houston area, our data is starting to show similar results in Florida after Hurricane Irma. With so much damage to infrastructure and businesses in the area, sourcing trends in and around Houston changed drastically in the weeks following Harvey's landfall as the area looks to rebuild and recover. Just to set a baseline, we looked at what our data showed within a 250 mile radius of Houston zip code 77001 for the two weeks prior to the storm's landfall. The top categories thomasnet.com users were searching in during those two weeks pretty much include what you might expect from an area heavy in the oil and gas industry. Machining, metal fabrication, steel, pressure vessels, contract manufacturing. But when we take that two week data and compare it with the two weeks immediately following the storm, we get an idea of the sheer magnitude of what people and businesses are dealing with in the Houston area. Sourcing for building materials such as drywall, plywood, wall panels, doors, hardwood flooring, concrete, masonry, and stone was up anywhere from 150 to 2,000 percent in the two weeks following Harvey. With so much infrastructure being compromised, we're seeing sourcing spikes for such things as two-way communication systems, which was up over 2,500 percent. Diesel and gas generators were up 800 and 500 percent respectively. Our data showed an increase of over 300 percent in sourcing for uninterruptible power supplies and a jump of over 1,700 percent in transformers. We even saw a spike in sourcing for hospital beds that was over 7,000 percent. Cleanup efforts contributed to an increase in sourcing for pump rental services, which was up 250 percent. Dehumidifiers were up 2,400 percent and sourcing for janitorial equipment and supplies was up 4,400%. Of course, sourcing for things like generators and building supplies following a hurricane doesn't come as a real surprise. But looking at specific sourcing data like we have through the Thomas Index can help businesses and government agencies better prepare for future events. At the end of the day, it's all about people. Our thoughts go out to all those affected by hurricanes Harvey and Irma. To that end, if you're a supplier in a hurricane-affected area and your facilities, machinery, or equipment have suffered from flooding or other damage, the Small Business Administration may be able to give you a low-interest disaster loan to help you get back up and running. Visit sba.gov slash disaster assistance to learn more. Thanks for watching.